Let's take a look at how analysis for CSM AI agent triage cases works for live human agent productivity. New Yokohama Q1 March store release. This is John Jason, a customer service agent that has just accepted an email interaction in the queue from George Warren, an employee of our customer Boxio, that seems to be having a problem with a damaged package. Over here, you can notice how he has a notification on the Now Assist panel. This indicates that the AI agent is getting triggered and is pinging him regarding a plan it can help John with, specifically for this issue George is having. The first step in the plan is a verification process. It is looking and verifying the record and making sure it is accurate and has valid customer information. Next up, it is looking at the intent and sentiment of the interaction to see if it's positive, neutral, or negative. As this has been flagged unfortunately as a negative sentiment, we will proceed on creating a case. With the live agent in the loop, John, we will go ahead and confirm. At this point, the AI agent has just sent an email indicating we're working on this, keeping the customer informed, and it is making sure no fields are missing for this specific case type, as they usually vary per process. Luckily, the AI agent has confirmed that we have all required fields and we can continue with the plan. The AI agent now is looking at the attachment and it seems it is not a valid one. It is his ID. And what we're looking for in this process is the shipment way bill instead. At this stage, the AI agent is dynamically thinking of how to resolve this new challenge. So now it has decided that it will create the record with this verified information and ask for permission to proceed. Of course, we are gonna grant it. And notice how I can utilize natural language to just say, go ahead and create one. At the same time, notice how the interaction state was changed by the AI agent in real time to close complete because that case is getting generated and related to this record. The AI agent has now indicated a URL with the record number for the case that we can click on and note how pertinent information such as description was generated from the confirmed input. The case has all the information we needed so we can have proper documentation on the activity stream, particularly useful for any live agent follow-ups. We can also note how both records were related and of course the interaction was close complete as we saw earlier, and the case was open for this longer process and follow-ups being executed in real time. Back on in the interaction, we can confirm how the AI agent on behalf of John Jason has generated emails of communication indicating the opening of the case. But that's not all. Remember how we still needed that way bill to proceed? Our AI agent is smart enough to generate this follow-up email also. And here we can review the message edit it, or simply write to the AI agent to proceed. Again, through natural language, I just say, yes, please send the email. We get a confirmation of the actual email being sent, and shortly after, it shows its last step. A summary of all the steps the AI agent did, such as gathering the record info, verifying it, analyzing sentiment, intent, doing the case, replying with content generating, and sending it successfully. All of this while keeping John in the loop and a clean audit trail of its communications within the case. This is how we put AI to work in customer service management.